God bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to Sunday School Insights. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Minutes Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesia Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us, and Sunday School Insights begins now. Today's lesson is entitled, Blessing, Glory, and Honor Forever. Our scriptures are found in the book of Revelation, chapter 5 verses 1 through 14. God does not follow man's rules and rituals. It is man who seeks to act out rules, laws, and procedures based on his understanding of that which he has been allowed to know by God. When you read about the rules of lost, forfeited, or stolen property, and legal rights of possession and ownership of it in the Bible, and how there must be a kinsman redeemer to buy back something valuable so that the rightful family and heirs can reclaim it. This is not something that man made up and threw together all by himself. This is an actual legal procedure born in heaven. In this week's lesson, we are about to be introduced to this concept, its power and resulting rights of action as John continues to move forward and upward in his vision of God's throne room. God has been doing a great work in and through his creation and is giving us a glimpse of some of his kingdom business transactions as he holds holy court. God is the ultimate Lord, King, Savior, and Judge. He is the Great I Am. In the fifth chapter of the book of Revelation, we open with a serious issue. The business of God needs to move forward so that His will can be done in earth as it is in heaven concerning man. There is a book, a scroll, or written contract in God's right hand, and it has seven seals that need to be opened and released, but it can only be done by a man, and that man has to meet certain requirements. There is a strong angel performing the duties of a bailiff. Court is in session. The most high and honorable judge is God and everyone must be mindful to do anything to be held in contempt of the judge. The strong angel does not and cannot touch the book because he is not worthy to touch, open, read, or loose anything concerning this book. So he loudly announces the question, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof? The angel knows his job, and this is an official invitation for the one who is qualified to step forward. John begins to cry, thinking that no one can do the job, but he is comforted by one of the elders, who said, Look, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has stepped forward. This is Jesus, our kinsman redeemer and he has rose from the seat which is at the right hand of his father in the appearance of a slain lamb, which represents the very title and sacrifice that he did his work through on earth 
to qualify him to be kinsman redeemer. Jesus also has the right because he is the creator and owner of everything. Please take the time to join us here again next week, God willing, for another informative lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by J. Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.